In today's video, we're going to be talking about a new game board that, you know, only some players have and is actually super cool. The fact that all level 40 players now have full body avatars and additional full body avatar news and some screen mode stuff and maybe a bit of other news. But of course, let's get started with today's video. To get us started with our first piece of news though, if you guys are already aware, the Samurai Helmet is now inside the shop. In addition, Rec Room also had a new Rec Room Gallery on their Creative Club Discord channel, which you guys should totally check out. I will have that linked down inside the description below. If you guys don't know what the Rec Room Gallery is, it's basically just kind of like a showcase where players that are builders will showcase their best inventions or their most artistic pieces. It could be drawings to working inventions that you can actually use, so of course, players get pretty creative. To top this off with the promotions, I do also want to say a Rec Room developer or, you know, a Rec Room player that was a developer had made this video talking about watch UI improvements. And if you guys are interested in this informational video, feel free to check it out. I'll also have that link down in the description below. Now I know the Hot Picks game mode that I talked about sounds interesting, but just bear with me, bear with me, let's talk about full body avatars first. Max Martin had an announcement saying, exciting news, we had a review of the data we've been collecting over the last few weeks, making sure everything was healthy, and we just determined we should roll out the full body option to all level 40 plus players. I know that these kinds of rollouts are not fun, but he wants to reiterate how much he appreciates everyone for being patient and helping them get better at making Rec Room better. It's been confirmed today by Max Powers that level 40 plus players should now all have full body avatars as an option. Please let me know or file a ticket with Zendesk if you are level 40 plus and have not gotten the invite yet. Now, there were some people that, you know, some Rec Room players had noticed that were low level and had full body avatars. Max Powers says, hmm, anyone under level 40 should not be getting access to full body avatars. If you're seeing this, please send him a screenshot. He confirms that there is some hacking going on from what they've seen, We're working on finding out what they are exploiting in the game. Also, all dev accounts have access to full body avatars at any level, so you may not have been seeing some of those in the wild. Oh, very interesting, and it seems like the, you know, full body avatars that were on low level accounts seem to actually be hackers. Now there was some clarification on the actual full body avatar shirts that players would be getting for being in the beta period. Max Powers clarifies that they'll still be in the quote unquote beta period of full body avatars even after we roll out to all level 50 through level 40 players. We still have lots of fixes and feedback to address and I expect anyone who tries full body avatars during this time will get a little gift box. Nice to see that they're rewarding the higher leveled players because they spend more time on the game and stuff like that, so that's super cool to see. Now before we actually talk about hot picks and stuff like that, the game mode that's actually out instead of Rec Room now, I do want to say we have our meme of the week. I promised you guys two meme of the weeks this week because I couldn't post the last meme of the week, and this meme of the week is a good one. Rise and shine, Miss Coach. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply that you made the worst updates. Nothing can compare to the worst of them all. Now, of course, let's talk about this new hot picks inside of Rec Room. Now, some Rec Room players inside their backpack have this new, new thing on the actual logo of their backpack. Since this is a split test and I'm not a part of those actual players, sadly, my backpack looks normal, but some players will have like a little new tag on. When they do and they look inside their actual backpack, they'll have this new tab called games and inside this will be this actual you know pop-up game it's called hot picks and you can start it and right when you press start you see this box on the ground i do have footage of this but i do kind of want to go through it on image form so we're going to talk about image form and then i'm going to show you guys some you know gameplay footage of it because you guys know that i got to supply you guys with footage if i don't got it someone's got it and i still got you guys don't worry now when you place this down you guys will see that the box will go down there will be this like glow from it and then this ui will pop up called hot picks it'll ask you a question and then you'll have to either raise your other hand or your other hand to pick your actual options. I think on VR, you can actually, you know, choose to point and pick them and stuff like that, as all the examples I actually have are on screen mode. Anyways, though, as you guys can see inside this actual, you know, uh, image here, the hot picks will basically ask you guys like an icebreaker question. All my favorite movies got to include, and then you'll raise your hand to vote. There will be a timer that you actually have to choose as to why it's called hot picks and stuff like that. And there's aliens and robots. Now, this is different. It asks you a different question, and they have their own different, you know, options and stuff like that that you guys can choose from. So it could quite literally be any question that you guys can think of. Now, I do want to note that this game is titled Hot Picks, and the actual box we see on the ground is called pop-up games. If you guys decide to look at this, you know, pop-up 
pop-up games box a little bit closer we see a little pug on the front i love to see that love to see little character right there hopefully that becomes like a requiem official character that's super cute and then we see pop-up games we see dice we see like a pencil we see an explanation point an arrow a ball it seems a star a whole bunch of stuff and i'm just kind of assuming that hot picks are going to be one of the many pop-up games that are actually inside this box and it might just be the first game we have right now i've never seen this in leaks or anything like that i've never seen this anywhere so this honestly was such a surprise to me when i saw this and it's super cool now on the box i can't get the whole box design sadly if someone could send it to me that'd be awesome but as you guys can see on the bottom it says this we have like this little scan qr code with two you know things on top of it we have the Requiem logo and then we have this little clock that says a113 i don't get what this could be but if you guys have an idea let me see this people icon and it says 2b so maybe two players uh two i couldn't think of anything that's starting with b to be honest and we have like this dice rolling logo and c plus plus i'm pretty sure that's circuits v2 and i'm guessing that's referencing that this pop-up games was made with circuits v2 maybe i don't know uh there's been no dev confirmation though on that and um what are your guys' thoughts on box design alone i am a big fan and on the actual game alone it's super super good looking once you guys choose your actual options and stuff like that the time will go out and then it'll have the ui pop-up and the winner is and it'll slowly reveal the you know actual option that got chose the most now i'm not too sure if this is actually a game that you can play with multiple people i'm assuming not as it's just asking for one person's input but i kind of don't get the point of it if you know it's kind of like a would you rather type of game if it does please correct me down inside the comments below but at this moment i am not sure yet and i will wait to see your guys' comments what are your guys' thoughts on this actual little mini game mode i love to see it rec room is such a good idea and i really do hope that you guys decide to act on these you know little ideas that you guys have for the game and stuff we just love to see change as a Requiem community, I'm pretty sure, as why you guys are watching me and stuff like that. So I really do, you know, like these cool little updates and stuff like that. I think I forgot to talk about this in my last video, but from this recent Requiem update, the way screen modes actually throw basketballs or any sort of ball, I'm pretty sure now, are different. It could be just basketballs, I'm pretty sure it probably is just basketballs, but they actually hold the ball like from two points now. And then they kind of launch it and stuff like that, and yeah, you guys will see it whenever you guys are out in the wild inside a rec room. Hey, did you know that I have channel memberships? Big massive shout out to all these people because they gave me their hard earned money once a month and these people are also known as my pookies. So of course, massive shout out to TCW Virtual Reality, Jack Tutorial, Mufi, Sony Robot, Logan from Hell, Abel Colors, S Plus Maniac, Manuel Lopez, Delgado, Nub Dub, The Monkey VR, Foxmaster, BBB Burning Owl, Zipical, Carl the Skunk, Bucket Guy, Yo, it's Jakey, Trevor A, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69, Fox David, and Dozer Blade Cat. Thank you guys for supporting my channel, and if you guys are a squidling or any other rank that's actually, you know, in my YouTube channel memberships, I greatly appreciate it. Now back to the video. Also, if you guys are interested about Dialog UI, whoever a recommend developer says heads up. There's an issue in this latest update with Dialog UI where if you have a billboarding pivot offset enabled in a multiplayer room, the first player will see it properly offset, but all other players will see it reset to 000. We found the bug too late to fix it this update, but it will be fixed next week. You might not be able to work around it in the meantime by setting the new billboard pivot offset synchronized config value, but if not, then it will work again next week. I suspect, but haven't verified yet that there may also be a bug if you set enabled via the configure tool instead of via cv2 that it might do the same thing show up as a false for all but the first player in the room if that's the case we'll be fixing it as well though that one might end up in the next next update instead of next week's in the meantime you can see it enabled with cv2 instead and it should bypass this bug and my loves that is pretty much everything that we have for news today i do just want to say before we actually you know do this little outro bit here thank you guys for my recent support on my latest video Video and stuff like that you guys killed it i got confetti one out of ten on that video and stuff like that and i think whenever i do that i won't upload for the next stage just to let it grow and stuff thank you guys for you know liking my content and supporting me it means so much and i can't wait to see you guys for this weekly rotation now of course if you guys like this video feel free to like it i would really appreciate that and you guys should also check out my second channel I appreciate the love, folks, and do you guys know that I actually have my own code inside of Rec Room? It's as simple as it is, it's just my name, it's SK0L, or you guys can go to my profile and click that support button because that's arguably easier. Now this code goes away every 45 days, and once it's been 45 days, you might want to check your actual, you know, code. You may not be supporting me anymore if you're actually supporting me right now, so please check it down inside the game, and maybe re-support me, who knows? 
If you guys are interested in more Requiem news though and want to you know, know more about the recent Requiem updates, some additional stuff like full body avatar sleeves and etc, check out my latest video because I talked about that. That's also the video that people really liked as well. It's over 8 minutes so it's a long watch and of course thank you guys for the love and support. Now of course I have to punch you now. And without any further ado, Brofist. Be sure to subscribe. <laughs>